My next opponent's going to be this new team, which I have definitely run before. I think it's a great team. And so we have a relic for Count Dooku and a relic uh, nest. Can't think if I've ever really faced a relic Count Dooku. So this was a fun battle. And this is the team that I saved my, my Treya for. Got my tabs all set up for my Grand Arena. Got the 5v5 offense and the Grand Arena 5v5 defense tab. So if you don't have the tab set up for yourself, I would recommend doing it. It just makes it so much easier. Kind of see what you already have set up for defense and offense and it just makes it easier for when you're going into battles to see what you have left, I think, rather than scrolling through each of your characters to, to find out what you have. I have Wampa in there as a filler. And then I chose Visus also, just because of her revivability, just in case. Although when you, when I look at this now, there really was no threat for them to take out any of the trio. But I wanted to guarantee a victory, so I threw in the extra characters. Plus Visus gets a bonus against Dooku, uh, with him being Sith. I have my Treya team modded for the bugs. So Treya has a crit avoidance arrow, as does Scion. And Scion's also modded for defense and health to make sure he can take the hit of Spy when it comes. And any of you that battle Geos knows it's gonna come. So it's a, uh, and I haven't had any issues since I've done that. And also the biggest thing is I've geared them to gear 13. And the whole reason why I did that was uh, for the Geo team and for... Uh, I'm starting to see more of them gear 13, so uh, I thought it was a, a good investment. And so far it's definitely paid off. As you can see there, if uh, Scion would have been modded differently, which I, before the, the Geos, I really had it in more for offense, modded him more for offense. Um, that would have definitely taken out Dooku, uh, but that hit was, was kind of weak uh, because of uh, the way he's currently modded. And there goes the Annihilate on Nest, and now it's just a matter of getting these uh, Newt and Django out of there, along with their uh, revives. Scion got his Held by Hatred, which is a beautiful thing. And, you know, just watching this now, you can see Wampa and Visas really aren't doing that much. It is nice to have days on, on Newt, but other than that, and obviously the big hits that come from him, and I cannot wait to get Wampa Gear 13. He's just not high on the priority list at the moment, but um, it is definitely a character that I want to have uh, Gear 13. He'll be a lot of fun to, to play with and to see what type of damage uh, he can do. This was a uh, relatively easy win, but knowing my opponent's score, him only averaging roughly 51 banners, I knew with all of my battles, all I had to do was get full health and have all of my, all five of my characters alive in each one of my battles in order to win. So that was really the only reason why I went with uh, Wampa and Visus as well. Otherwise, a trio could handle this uh, just fine. And there it was, easy 55 banners.